We have a lot of live action remakes, and before Jon Favreau gave us the failure that was The Lion King, he gave us a pretty acceptable remake from the 1967 movie The Jungle Book in 2016. The Jungle Book came out in 1967 and was the last film that Walt Disney himself actually helped on. It is a classic Disney film for good reasons. Everything about this film is perfect. So when they said they were giving it the live action remake treatment in 2016, I was incredibly worried. But after watching the film, I was pleasantly surprised at how different it was in tone, style, and themes. Hi there, it's me, The Average Critic. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more great videos on your favourite animated movies. And welcome back to the Versus series, where I pit the original versus the remake. So let's talk about The Jungle Book 1967 versus 2016. The Jungle Book from 1967 is a true Disney classic, in that it truly represents everything Walt Disney enjoyed characters, music, and voices. Obviously, the music is incredible in this film. We all know The Bare Necessities as one of the best Disney songs ever written. The classic easygoing nature, the clever witty lyrics, and the song wasn't even written by the incredible Sherman Brothers. I Wanna Be Like You is an obvious standout, as it is known as the greatest jazz song ever written, and for good reason. From the jungle swing beat to the amazing performance from Louis Prima, and an incredible scat singing between both Louis and Baloo. Despite not understanding what they are saying, you completely understand the conversation they are having. It is an absolute credit to the performers on screen. Both I Wanna Be Like You and Bare Necessities are easy ones to talk about, but even the less well-known ones are such wonderful songs. The Vulture song, That's What Friends Are For, has some of the cleverest double lyrics ever. The elephant sequence makes you laugh from ear to ear. The music of The Jungle Book is a wonderful delight and is some of the most joyous songs ever to come out of Disney. And now on to the remake. This is the time where I usually crap all over the remake, but in this case, I can't do much. The music in the remake is actually quite entertaining. Every singer is clearly doing their own thing, with Bill Murray giving us a fun, laid-back rendition of The Bare Necessities, and hearing Christopher Walken sing I Wanna Be Like You is a delight in itself. The original score by John Debney, which is added to this film, is surprisingly good and really captures the more serious tone of the movie. If you're listening really closely, you will even hear the original score coming through in a really fun way. The music of the remake never feels overused or unoriginal. It does enough new content to make it its own, but it sprinkles in the original score as a nice homage to the original. The most surprising moments in the music in this film actually comes at the credits, with Scarlett Johansson's rendition of Trust In Me is an almost improved cover. Despite the music not being as fun as the original due to the obvious change in tone, the music serves as a brilliant tone for the movie in an incredible way. If you're going to make a remake, not everything should stay the same, so the change in style for the music is surprisingly refreshing. Going back to the original, the cast list of this film is perfect, and it is a brilliant result of everything I talk about on this channel when it comes to cast. Walt Disney always had an admiration for voices and interesting ones at that. With the likes of Phil Harris, Louis Prima and Sebastian Cabot, this film's cast is wonderful. All voices feel fresh and interesting, none of them sound the same, to the British nature of George Sanders as Sheer Khan, to the obvious impressions of a certain famous English band in The Vultures, to of course the amazing Phil Harris being his own wonderful self. This cast is classic Disney, and without sounding like an old man, you can tell Walt Disney really helped in finding voices for the films he was involved in. This entire film is proof of how important a film's voice cast is. Every character is a scene stealer, every character feels real and fun to watch. And surprisingly, in the 2016 version, it actually has a good cast as well. Once again, the cast very much fits the style and tone of the movie they are going for. Bill Murray does a wonderful job as Baloo, very different to Phil Harris. Phil Harris's version is a much more relaxed, go lucky person with a lovable side to him. Bill Murray does a much more sarcastic and lazier version, which really makes you laugh. And I think Christopher Walken does a great job as King Louis. Much like Louis Prima before him, it truly is a personal performance, as the Christopher Walken ism, shall we say, they really shine through. If you don't deliver, let me tell you something. I made gravy out of your little girl. And Idris Elba does a phenomenal job as Shere Khan. George Sanders has this calm and classic British bad guy in the original with his prim and proper voice. Idris Elba delivers a truly frightening and scary performance as this character. Again, neither is better than the other as it comes down to personal preference. If you're in the mood for something fun and whimsical, stick to the 1967 version. If you want something more groundbreaking and modern, the 2016 does a great job. I do believe both versions have great casts, and both have plenty of fun in their roles, and they truly understand the tones of their films. 
I do believe both versions have great casts, and both of them are having so much fun with their roles, they truly understand the tones of the films they are in. Now, I do try and not let nostalgia play too much of a role when reviewing films that are, let's face it, relatively old. No offense to my older viewers watching, don't worry, I'm 29, this film predates me. But honestly, when it comes to 2D drawn animated films by Disney, it still holds up. You can feel the artist coming through and the animation on screen still holds up and that is incredible. Backdrop and character animations all feel fluid and colourful. Just something as simple as the animation of the monkeys dancing during I Wanna Be Like You, especially at the time, is an incredible milestone. It does help that the film's setting is a jungle, which is a great environment for a film like this. Everything is beautiful to watch, it feels warm and inviting, and I really love it. Now, the live action remakes animation does feel a little bit into the Lion King territory, in that the realistic animation of the animals are almost too realistic for their own good. However, I must say there are three things that make the Jungle Book much better than the Lion King remake. The first one being that the facial animation of the eyes are a little bit more animated, which does allow the audience to connect to the character much better. It also helps we have a real life version of Mowgli, which helps the audience connect with other characters through Mowgli, allowing the imagination of the audience to help guide them a little. And no offense to the actors in the Lion King remake, but in the Jungle Book, they do a much better job in this film. The voices shine through and they give every character a style and personality. Even someone such as Ben Kingsley, who plays Bagheera, who is a very much more average toned character, shall we say, does a wonderful job as this character. Once again, it comes down to the tone of the movie, and both serve the movie very well. The remake of The Jungle Book is a surprising one, in that it tells a story in a new direction. The script is entirely different, and the themes of choosing who you are are different than its predecessor. It changes enough to make it different, but it still keeps the core aspects of what made the original great. It's a perfect retelling of a story we love, and both are treated very differently. The Jungle Book from 1967 is a timeless classic, and in my opinion, it truly represents Disney as a company, bringing imagination, great music, and joy to the world. And that's the word I would use to describe this movie. It's joyous. The Jungle Book has this wonderful theme of being who you are. Mowgli tries to be an elephant, a bear, and even a monkey, but in the end, he's human, and he belongs to the man village. If the original is about being who you are, then the remake is about choosing who you are and where you are born. Mowgli chooses to be human in the place he calls home, in the jungle with the wolves. I love the change of themes in this movie in that they both work for their respective movies and both work as two sides to a coin. The original is one of the most joyous films and it truly warms your heart as one of the most greatest Disney films ever and for good reason. So after all that, the original from 1967 gets my professional rating of 10 out of 10. And it's gonna get my personal rating of 10 out of 10 as well. As for the remake, I can only find a few faults, so it's going to get my professional rating of 9 out of 10. And only because I prefer the more light-hearted version of the original, it's going to get my personal rating of 9 out of 10 as well. This is truly a big reason why I use this rating system, because yes, I prefer the original, but purely on personal preference. But the remake is still really good in its own way, and it is highly entertaining. So thank you for joining me in this video. I have wanted to talk about both these films for a long time. Also, a big shout out to the wonderful Ad Actum Graphics, I hope I'm saying that name correctly, over on Etsy for doing my new graphics for my YouTube self. He did an amazing job at making me look straight out of a Pixar movie. He's really passionate about his work, and they are not expensive at all. They are perfect as a special gift for someone, or for anyone who just loves Disney and Pixar. So I will leave the link for his Etsy profile in the description below as he has some amazing work on this. Please go check him out. But thank you for joining me in this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms as well. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all in the next one.